cultural Hegelianism is the unity of Hegel's philosophy, Julius Ewola's mysticism, and modern pop culture. But its purpose in to is to include in its development the totality of world development. But the starting point of the idea was Hegel, Evola, and modern pop culture. And uh, I would like to talk about the metaphysics of sex. And there's a um, there's um, a, an interesting quote in the book saying that um, men can see the limits of their own sexuality because, well, it seems obvious, whereas women cannot see it, so they can be ignorant of it. And from a Hegelian perspective, when there is a, a limit, uh, it must be transcended. And that's the reason why, in a history of civilization, men have devoted themselves to higher goals, like art, science, um, politics, philosophy. I'm not saying that women haven't done great things, but men have sought uh, the satisfaction of a sexual instinct, which is inherent in all living things, in a sublimated, in a higher transcendent form. And, um, yeah. And Evola says that um, metaphysics is the search for the first principles and fundamental meanings. And in Hegel's view, metaphysics is is an ontotheology, naming the doctrine of being, of God, and of logic, because the first principle of so-called metaphysics is the thought of pure being, which is pure nothing. Um, and, and being, we represent being as something objective and thought as something subjective, but in the first highest principle, they are identical, and that's why in Hegel's view, which is also my view, the, the, the categories and the unfolding of being, the objective world, and the categories and unfolding of the subjective mind are in a reciprocal relationship. That's what Spinoza says when he says the order and the connection of things is identical to the uh, order and connections of thought. Uh, so, yeah. So, Hegel's metaphysics is is or, or becomes physical and uh, to find the the logical ID within the natural world is what Hegel calls actuality Wirklichkeit. Uh, in the realm of pure thought ideas have no effectivity no actuality no Wirklichkeit but ideas uh, have in their in their purpose to become manifest and this is uh, effectivity or Wirklichkeit. Um, so Evola says that metaphysics goes beyond the physical, but in Hegel's view, the metaphysical becomes physical, and and the unity of the metaphysical and the physical is is spirit. Um, and he mentions the many the manifold states of being, and the subtle subtle and even transcendental modalities of human consciousness which are capable of being attained in, um, in um, love experiences. Um, and he mentions the, the, the displacement of the boundaries of the ego and the emergence of profound modes of consciousness and at the beginning of Hegel's logic, Hegel show why there is a necessity for everything which is limited, which has a, a limit or a boundary to transcend itself, and that's the and that the the purpose, the reason, and the the necessity of the finite is to become infinite, to transcend its own uh, limit. So we find this 
correlation between Hegel's logic and Evola's view of, of love. And what, what women seek in uh, sexual experiences is uh, ecstasy, which is originally a religious experience, to, to be out of oneself. So women unconsciously seek to, to lose their self, to lose their own individual identity and to connect with a, a transcendental uh, self, a transcendental principle. And that's what uh, they seek. Uh, and then he mentions uh, the differences between um, um, empirical love and transcendental love, like uh, the difference between differential uh, mathematics and integral um, mathematics and um, the, the whole process of Hegel's logic consists in differentiating and reintegrating what has been differentiated. So even mathematics is a reflection of Hegel's logic. Um, and what is admirable about Evola is that he says that he wants to, for the sake of the research, he wants to, to, to start considering um, the, the exceptional the ideal as the norm through which the empirical shall be judged and, and not judged but considered. So it is from a transcendental principle that ordinary uh, aspects of reality should be should be considered. Um, and yeah, he he, he does, it's not that he condemns, but he simply uh, realizes that in the modern West. Um, everything revolves around sexuality, basically. But uh, if the world is the reflection of of the mind of God, there is a reason why there is sex in the world. But the true uh, meaning of sexuality is that to 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 make the two become one, and this process of duality. Coming back into unity is what Hegel calls spirituality. So, um, sexuality in the empirical realm is a, a degraded version of spirituality, actually. And uh, yeah, and I would like to to illustrate this by uh, two songs. One is is um, Mr. Saxo Beat by Alexandra Stan and she sings you make me dance bring me up bring me down uh, set me free don't be so shy and when women say that they want to be set free um, is that they want to be um, understood conceptually uh, they want their their soul or their their essence to be grasped by um, a, a supernatural intellectual principle so that they lose their individual consciousness. And that's why women love psychology when when great uh, authors can penetrate their mind. They, they, they enjoy it. That's why men usually watch pornography and women read romantic novels. But these are two modes of seeking the same thing. It's just a difference between men and women. But uh, pornography is romantic novels for men, and um, romantic novels is pornography for women. Um, and another song by Selena Gomez, um, "Love um, Like a Like a Love Song." She says, "You play, th you play through my mind like a symphony. It feels like I've been like I've been rescued. I've been set free." We find this idea in, in popular culture when women sing or um, express themselves, they, they want to be set free because from a Hegelian perspective, women live in the realm of nature, whereas men live in the realm of logic. And the liberation of nature comes from the spiritualization of nature. And uh, men uh, realize their 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 concept by spiritualizing women in a way and uh, 
yeah, that's what I could say as an introduction, and I will continue um, on on this topic.